Welcome to Electron Line, here again for something a little bit more challenging. We're still dealing with linear dimensions, but now we take a rope and cut into three pieces. A 31 foot rope is cut into three pieces. The length of the middle piece is one and a half times, I guess I should put an S there, one and a half times the length of the short piece. If the third piece is reduced by two feet, it will be three quarters the length of the middle piece. What is the length of each of the three pieces? Hmm, that sounds a bit confusing, doesn't it? So sometimes a picture helps. So let's start with a picture. So here's the length of a rope. The rope is 31 feet long. And we're going to cut the rope into three pieces. So the, uh, let's see here, the length of the middle piece is one and a half times the length of the short piece. So we have a short piece and then we have one that is longer. And then we have a third piece and we're not sure what the length of that third piece is. So we now have the three pieces together they add up to a length of 31 feet. So it's customary to let x equal the length of the shortest piece. So let x equal the length of the short piece. Notice that I wrote let x equal the length of the short piece. I didn't say let x equal the short piece because then it doesn't define very well what we mean by that. It's always good to indicate what x represents. In this case x represents the length of the short piece. So we can indicate that this piece then would have a length equal to x. Now we go to the second piece. The length of the middle piece is one and a half times the length of the short piece. So 1.5x would be the length of the middle piece. Now the last piece, the third piece. The third piece is reduced, or it says if the third piece is reduced by two feet, it will be three quarters the length of the middle piece. Hmm. So the middle piece length is 1.5x. So that's the length of the middle piece. Three quarters that would be three quarters times 1.5x. Now, it says that the, the last piece would equal that if it was reduced by two feet. So we need to add two feet to that so, because it is not reduced by that. So we add two feet by that and this would be equal to the longest piece or the third piece. We're not sure if that's the longest piece or not but it's the third piece. So let's see if that's correct. It says, if we were to reduce the third piece by two feet, it would be three quarters, one and a half times x, because it would be three quarters the middle piece, which is 1.5x, if it was reduced by two feet. So another way to write that would be the third piece minus two feet equals three quarters times 1.5x. So here again, if we were to reduce the third piece by two feet, it would be equal to three quarters the middle piece, which is 1.5x. So that's why the third piece can be defined as three quarters 1.5x plus two. <clears throat> and so we have let 1.5x equal the length of the middle piece. And then finally, the length of the third piece can be defined let three quarters times 1.5x minus two equal the length of the third piece. So it's very important we define each one very carefully. x is the short piece, one half times x is the middle piece, and then two more than three quarters 1.5x is the third piece. So that would be, uh, let's see here, that would be three quarters times 1.5x plus two is the length of the third piece. And then of course we know that when we add them all together they should add up to 31 feet which is the equation we're going to use to solve the problem. So x plus 1.5x plus 3 quarters 1.5x plus 2 equals 31 feet. All right now we have a problem where we have both decimals and fractions 
and we have parentheses. Wow. Well, the parentheses are not necessary, but it just makes it a little clearer. But let's first get rid of the fraction. We do that by multiplying both sides by 4. So we multiply the left and the right side by 4. When we do that, we get 4x plus 6x plus 3 times 1.5x plus 4 times 2, which is 8, is equal to, that would be 124. All right, next thing we want to do is get rid of that decimal, and we can do that by multiplying everything by 2, because 2 times 1.5 would be 3. So now we're going to multiply everything by 2. So we get 8x plus 12x plus 3 times 3x, which is basically 9x, plus 2 times 8, which is 16, equals 2 times 124, which is 248. Now we're ready to move all the x's to one side, all the numbers to the other side, which means 16 needs to go over here. That gives us 8x plus 12x plus 9x is equal to 248, that's an 8 here, minus 16. All right, combining like terms. Let's move over here to continue the problem. So 8 plus 12 is 20 plus 9, that's 29x is equal to 248 minus 16, that would be 232. Divide both sides by 29. And that's probably 8. Let's see, 8 times that is 160, 8 times this is 72, 160 plus 72, that would be 232. Yes, so x equals 8. There we go. So there's the solution for x. Now we can figure out what the length of each piece is. So this piece has to be 8 feet. 1.5 times 8 feet would be 12 feet. And now we take 12 feet, take 3 quarters of that. 3 quarters of 12 is 9, plus 2 is 11 feet for the third piece. And so there we have the three pieces. Now, just to make sure that we did it correctly, let's add them up, and they better add up to 31. 8 plus 12 is 20, plus 11, 31. Good check. It is the correct answer, and therefore we have the length of each of the three pieces. And that's how it's done.